Tomorrow marks five years since the murder of Ahmed Dean Jar, more known as Grinner, if you're familiar with the drill scene when it comes to Newham. Now, although five years has passed, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, no one has been charged or even jailed in relation to this case, and with again tomorrow marking it five years since his death, the Metropolitan Police have recently released an update in the case with unseen CCTV images in relation to it. They've also put out a reward for £20,000 for information that leads to the identification, arrest and prosecution of the person responsible for Grinner's murder. But first, for anyone who doesn't know, let's take you through the events of that day and then we'll get into the update. So at around 3.20pm on the 2nd of April 2017, Grinner had gone into a shop on Freemasons Road in Custom House Newham to purchase a lighter. He then left the shop but returned around 30 seconds later after he began being followed by a person wearing dark clothing, a balaclava and gloves. The person in question chased Grinner into the shop before attacking him. He was stabbed in the heart and suffered a number of slash wounds to one of his hands. Emergency services were called a short while later, but sadly, just like we've seen many times before, Grinner would go on to be pronounced dead at the scene. In updates to the police investigation, they've come out to tell the public that the man in question got into a stolen black Mercedes car parked outside the shop to flee the scene. The car, occupied by two other men. Other than that, the police say despite the large investigation involving thousands of hours worth of work by detectives, nobody has yet been brought to justice. They have, however, made multiple arrests. In connection with the incident, three people who were initially arrested were released with no further action, whilst three men who were arrested later on are still currently being investigated by police. I think what makes this all the more worse though is that if you've been subscribed to me over this past year or so, then you'll know that we covered the story of Abu Bakr Jr. Jaw, aka White Grinner, Grinner's younger brother, and how only weeks after the fourth anniversary of his murder, his life was sadly taken at the hands of a knife man on the streets of Newham. In that case, 10 people have since been arrested in connection, but just like his brother's murder case, no one has been charged in relation to it. I find it interesting though that the lead detective in Grinner's case made this comment. Talking of appealing to gang members, he says, quote, A lot has changed over the past five years, and I hope somebody who felt they were unable to come forward at the time of Ahmed's death will now have the courage to do the right thing. I wonder then what has changed in those past five years. You can't really speculate on what he exactly means by that, but I just thought it was interesting he pointed that out specifically, that something has changed over the past five years. Of course, I do believe personally he is talking about the politics in Newham, but again, we can't really speculate on specifics. For now though, give the video a like for more crime related content like this, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Poncho, and I'll see you in the next one.